Now to Democracy 2018. Today, State Attorney General Curtis Hill went to court challenging an agreement to open more early voting locations in Marion County and was denied by a judge. But we just learned Hill's office has already filed an appeal of the decision with the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals in Chicago. Hill claims a consent decree ordered by a federal judge violates state law. His office argues adding the agreed upon six early voting centers needs to be unanimously approved by the Marion County Election Board, which according to a board spokesperson and a district court judge, it was. The attorney general's office, however, is disputing that. Some voters are questioning his motives. The board has all along said only that they've been able to reach a majority. Uh, and uh, the uh, role of unanimity uh, that they have now professed, I think, is something we're going to address in today's filing. But up to this point, the record uh, reads only that it was a majority of the board, not the unanimous. We don't understand why the attorney general is making such an effort to interfere with people's ability to vote. Uh, elections are under the purview of the Secretary of State, so I don't understand how the Attorney General is getting involved. The federal judge responded today saying the vote was unanimous and to add six early voting centers. The spokesperson for the election board gave us this video which recorded the vote. He says he has no idea what the Attorney General is referring to when Hill references there was only a majority vote. Again, this is not over. The case now goes to a federal appeals circuit.